On Thursday, a call for restraint echoed from Russia, Germany and Britain to nations in the Middle East as tensions escalated over an Iranian threat targeting Israel. Israel, in response, has asserted its readiness to address all its security concerns. Lufthansa, meanwhile, one of the most limited Western airlines serving Tehran, also prolonged the suspension of its flights to the Iranian capital Tehran, citing safety concerns. Additionally, Russia has cautioned against travel to Middle East amid escalating situation. The backdrop of this tension is the woe of retaliation from Iran following the April 1 airstrike on its embassy compound in Damascus, which resulted in the death of a senior Iranian general and six other military officers. This incident has further strained an already tense region compounded by the ongoing Gaza conflict. While Israel has not claimed the responsibility of the airstrike, Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has asserted that Israel must face the consequences of the attack, likening it to an assault on Iranian soil. The quote-unquote imperative for Iran to punish this rogue regime might have been avoided had the UN Security Council condemned the strike and brought the perpetrators to justice. The Iran mission to the United Nations said on Thursday. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said that Israel is keeping up its war in Gaza but making security preparations elsewhere too. He said, and we quote, whoever harms us, we will harm them. We are prepared to meet all of the security needs of the state of Israel, both defensively and offensively. He said in comments released after a visit to an Air Force base. Iran has reportedly communicated to Washington its intention to respond to Israel attack in a manner aimed at preventing significant escalation, according to Iranian sources. Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant has retaliated U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin that Israel stands ready to retaliate directly to any aggression from Iran, as stated by Gallant's office. The conflict's repercussions have rippled across the Middle East since the eruption of the Gaza War, with Iran-backed groups expressing solidarity with Palestinians by launching attacks from various locations including Lebanon, Yemen and Iraq. Despite this, Tehran has thus far refrained from direct confrontation with either Israel or the United States while maintaining support for its allies. This delicate balance underscores the complexity of the situation and the potential for further escalation if not managed carefully. Meanwhile, the German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock has also called for Iranian counterpart Hossein Amir Abdullian to urge maximum restraint to avoid further escalation. Russian Foreign Ministry has told citizens they should not travel to Middle East, especially to Israel, Lebanon and the Palestinian territories. The British Foreign Minister David Cameron has also emphasized his message to Amir Abdullian, stressing that Iran should avoid dragging the Middle East into a broader war. I am deeply concerned about the potential of miscalculation leading to further violence," Cameron stated on the occasion. Meanwhile, U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller also disclosed that Secretary of State Anthony Blinken reached out to his counterparts, including those in Turkey, China and Saudi Arabia, to emphasize the importance of de-escalation and urge Iran to refrain from further escalation. President Joe Biden, echoing these sentiments, highlighted Iran's perpetrated threat of a significant attack on Israel on Wednesday. He assured Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu of the United States' unwavering commitment to Israel's security against threat from Iran and its proxies. However, U.S. officials later revealed that while U.S. anticipates an attack by Iran on Israel, it is not expected to be a substantial enough to draw Washington into war. These diplomatic statements highlight the delicate diplomatic effort to mitigate tensions and prevent further escalation in the region. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.